Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we're gonna test the MacBook Pro M1 Pro and the MacBook Air M1 for Xcode benchmark test. So guys, we'll be running the Xcode benchmark test. We currently have a repository on the GitHub that is actually for the Xcode benchmark. So we'll be running that project in both of the machines and having a look what's the compilation time and what's the build time in both of the machines. So we have got Xcode installed in both of the machines. The environment is already set. So let's get to the terminal. So we'll be opening the terminal in both of the machines. Okay, so the terminal is open. Let's open the activity monitor as well to have a look what happens to the machine while the code compiles. We have got the activity monitor. Let's open the CPU monitor as well. Okay. So here we have the CPU monitor ready. So all the things ready to test the benchmark. Now let's get ahead to the directory. Here we switch and here too. So now we are ready with the directory as well as the command for build. So we'll be testing this out. So let's start the build test. Enter and enter so guys while the project is actually building up let's get to the activity monitor and have a look what's happening to the machine so if we have a look at to here into the m1 pro right now we can see that the memory pressure is all around 11 gigabytes it goes around 12 gigabytes now okay so it's around 12 to 13 gigabytes and the cp utilization is 100 percent so idleness is zero and this Let's have a look what happens to the same goes over here. The CPU utilization is 100%. So Xcode is performing really well. There is just 1% of idleness in both of the machines and it has started to increase now. So I think the processing is getting done really fast. And the memory utilization in this is around 4 gigabytes. Swap memory is just 154 megabytes in this. The memory utilization is 5 gigabytes. Okay, so it has dropped down. Swap has been actually used for 3 gigabytes. And this, the swap isn't started. So let's see what actually happens. What the results, what are the results that we get? And this, the CPU utilization is still around 100%. There's zero idleness in this as well. So both of the machines are going really well. They're utilizing complete CPU as well as the memory that is used continuously into the m1 pro is around six gigabytes and in the m1 is around four gigabytes so it is utilizing more amount of memory that is the ram by the way guys the m1 that i currently have is with eight gigabytes of ram and this has got 16 gigabytes of ram so both are the base model variants let's see what happens to the results so and if you look here into the activity monitor and let by the way also try to open up the gpu history monitor okay so let's even have a look what happens to the gpu is it trying to utilize any gpu so gpu is not being utilized a lot we can see here surely so the gpu is not being utilized a lot but yes cpu is getting filled up and by the way we are done with the test in the x code with m1 pro one minute 29 seconds so one minute 29 seconds by the way we have also tested it prior the best that we got in this machine was for 100 seconds and we'll try one more time let's go for one more time let's see if it goes for even more lower than that and it's still compiling and building up into the m1 and it's done so we have got over here 155 seconds this is pretty consistent by the way into its results because the last time when we tested it it was 160 seconds and this was for 100 seconds it has moved up to around 30 seconds so let's test for one more time and let's see what's the best result that we get so this is now done in 108 seconds so that's all around one minute 48 seconds and by the way guys we have already compared both of the laptops for every perspective of developers and programming so if you want to check that video as well the link is into the top right corner you can click there and have a look at the comparison for both of the machines okay so it's done it has went up to 162 seconds maybe because of little bit of more thermal performance and it has got slightly heated up slight heating 
and this is staying really cool nothing of an issue into it so it has got slightly warm so onto the thermal performance if we check both of the machines this is slightly warm not heated up but slight warm so the result has went from 156 seconds 155 seconds to 162 seconds and in this the result has come down to 108 seconds so for this machine the best time in this video was around 155 seconds and for this machine in this video the best time that we got was 108 seconds so this was the benchmark comparison test for xcode in both of the machines and i think that for programming perspective m1 is still one of the good options to go with and if you just want to spec this out so you can go along within 16 gigabytes of ram that will be pretty much enough for you and you can just have that machine so for more than five years and you can program and you can just go around for development perspective and usage that will be really good into the m1 air so guys if you have got any more questions please comment it down below we'll be happy to help you and if you liked our video please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel meet you in the next episode till then goodbye